Hello guys, welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel. So when you run your Playwright test, right, NPS Playwright test, so you will directly get the report in HTML file. So when all, all this uh, get failed, right, all this get failed, you will directly get the report in HTML file. So you can see like something like this HTML file. So by default it get open and uh, uh, you can analyze the result using HTML file. So this is the default report Playwright provides when you install the Playwright. So when you generate uh, your Playwright configs.ts, uh, you can see like in result uh, you reporter, you can see that HTML. So this is what uh, report is. But uh, apart from HTML report, if you go to Playwright documentation, uh, it provides a plenty of reporters by default. You don't need to configure anything, you just uh, uh, update your playwright config.ts or you can run using command line as well. So you can see like playwright test comes with a few built-in reporters for different needs and ability to provide custom reports. So you can generate the custom reports. So in this video, we'll go these reports one by one and check the reports like how it looks like. So watch this video till the end and like it also. And also I will uh, describe how to create custom reports and uh, use custom reports uh, and uh, see the custom report. So this is what uh, we will cover today. So let's try one by one. So you can have this report uh, two ways. One is to you can directly provide in the command line like what reporter you want. Like if you want to see line reporter, you can fire this command. Or you can update in your playwright config.ts. So where uh, HTML reporter is there, you can provide line reporter and it will run with the line. So also you can provide multiple reporters as well. So for example, if you want to see list uh, in the results and after that you want to create JSON file as well. So you can uh, combine both list and uh, JSON reporter. So this is where you can combine both two reports or you can combine multiple reporters as well. Even you, after this you can create HTML report as well. Also, you can provide the conditions in the reporter. So, for example, if you are running in Circle CI, then you want dot reporter. But when you are running in your local, then you want list reporter. So, the, this is how you can configure this. So, let's try one by one. So, let's go first with the list reporter. So, I am just uh, firing that command that is provided in documentation, where uh, in command line we can use list. So, you can see. First, it will provide the list of all the test cases and then uh, uh, based on it is passed or failed, it provides the color coding. So when it is uh, get passed, it is shows as white. Whatever test case got skipped, it shows as blue and whatever test case failed, it shows as red. So this color coding it provides and after that it provides why it got failed or where it got failed with minimal information. So this is the when your test suite is very small and at that, that time it is very useful. You can directly see. But if, for example, if you have thousands of test cases, then going through this list and it also directly gives a list of all the test cases. So it looks bulky. So that time we can use line reporter. So in line reporter, use uh, is more concise than the list reporter. So it uses a single line to report last finished test. So whatever test uh, it is running and finished, it will give the single line by line. So if you see, sorry, we run list only. So let me run line. So uh, apart from list, you can see it is providing one by one, whatever the report test was running and uh, it will give the output of the test after that. So this way, what is the benefit of this is like, uh, if you have thousand of tests, then you can see whatever the test failed last and you can see that fail only. So this is how it is useful. Apart from line reporter, you can see dot reporter. So dot reporter is uh, very concise. It produces only single character for successful test run. So it won't uh, mess uh, your uh, result area or terminal. So it, it, you are seeing like it provides dot f f f f f. So when uh, all the tests are running, right? It provides dot as pass, fail is f, and again green dot for pass, 
for skipped it provides blue one and the color code is uh, mostly same but uh, it won't uh, uh, take like uh, all the space and it just uh, whenever it is running right if it is running for one hour you can see like how many tests are failing or passing uh, with this dot information only so if it is running in circle ci or somewhere right so it is very helpful and uh, very precise so mostly in circle ci they use uh, dot reporter like this so it will provide the output html reporter by default we saw that and uh, how it produced but what uh, trick with html reporter is like whenever you are running a with html reporter if something get fails it uh, pop up and it directly opens in the browser that report and if something got passed it won't, won't uh, open at all so you can configure the properties like for example like this it has a property like always never or on failure so on failure is by default so if something fails, it by default open that but if you set is never then it never opens that html report so it just keep html report uh, in the uh, in the files and if you want to open then only it will open else it won't open that so i am running this now it with html report so it has generated html report but it doesn't open that so with this command so report you can open that but by default it won't open so if sometimes you are running in background and doing some one screen browser and you don't want to open that you can keep like this so now after html report this is blob reporter so blob reports contain all the details about the test run and can be used later to produce any other report so it provides it collects all the information and keep it in the one file so that zip file is created and once zip file is created what you can do is like uh, you can create a report from it so this is helpful like when you have thousand of a different suit or like uh, there are several of different suit you want to run that generate report and combine that report so that time you can use that also you can give file name and all the description output name output file name directory name but i am running with the default one So here you can see like blob reporter directory is generated and in that report reporter.zip is generated. So what we can do is in the open in finder and uh, it generates report.jsl. So you can see like it has some test ID, prepare step, title and all this information and from this information you can generate uh, a report. You can read this file and generate the report. Now after that uh, we have JSON reported. So JSON reported uh, as name suggests it will generate one JSON file. So uh, you need to give output file name and then you can run that. So in this uh, player at JSON output file name is result.json and n plus player at test reported.json I am using. So it has created that result.json and in json file it will uh, provide all the information in json format you can read somewhere this file and create the report from this after that like we have junit reporter this is same like if you are running your test in junit then uh, you can get the xml report and the, for this uh, you can run this so this will work when you have junit configured and you can use that and then github action so in github action what you can do is you can provide github like if you are running in github then it will run with github or otherwise it will give list you can pro configure like same as circle ci uh, for github actions you can also configure uh, a reporter uh, using this library so first you need to install this npm library es true <laughs> yf github action reporter and once you uh, install this library uh, you can give this in the reporter and it will use the same reporter so it will generate the report something like this if you are running in circle ci then like this so it will be uh, see how good it looks like in the console so this is a reporter you can use with the github action you can directly put this reporter 
like it has some parameter like if you want to see user detail if you want to see so error so so tag so annotations so all this information you will get here so you will configure like this and you need to provide this in playwright config.ts so this is uh, how the, you can use this now let's come to custom reporter so for custom report you can create some report something like this so uh, you can uh, create uh, one of the uh, reports so let's use this reporter only and uh, uh, let's create it here only uh, let's give my report dot ts it was ts file right yes so my report dot ts and i am uh, created this report i am using same whatever the in the documented but uh, you can uh, explore more and you can create customized way however you want so now my report dot ts is uh, created so once my report is dot ts is configured i need to give in the reporter so in reporter uh, where html file is there uh, we can use this one dot slash my report dot ts so now when i run this it will by default run my report dot ts and it will provide that reporter file so see the results coming is very different and uh, it has uh, uh, used uh, whatever the information we have given here my report dot ts so it runs something like that so you can customize like however you want to run and uh, you can use that so if you have any doubt feel free to ask also there are third party reporter showcase are available you can explore more here and um, maybe if uh, any specific is there or i I use this in the my live coding that I do in my company then I will create video on that as well yeah, if you have any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section please like this video and subscribe this channel so it will uh, give me more confident to create more videos and always connect in social media links are given in the description where I used to share funny memes and uh, will be active always so thank you